Hello everyone. I know it's been a long while, but we are back with Scooby-Doo First Rights. So I am sick. Yes, it's not like the vid or anything. I have a sinus infection because where I live, I am allergic to everything and the weather is funky. So also I'm hoping that the audio is better than it was previously because I am doing my capture card on my new computer and I'm doing my audio on my old computer. It has been a while, but we're gonna, gonna get this game finished. <laughs> All right. So we are on episode two. I'm pretty sure we're on level three. Um, excuse me, I want to be Daphne, please. There we go. Okay, so... What we saw last time was they got a clue for they got a clue Velma and Daphne did in the haunted house so now Daphne and Fred are going to explore the toy factory, I'm pretty sure, is what's going on. Where is the other one? Oh, there it is. Okay, thanks for cleaning that car out for me. And this is actually, I think, one of my favorite levels in episode 2. I'm not entirely sure why, but it just is. I just, I remember playing this one so much whenever I was a kid. Jeepers, can they eat this many? And then I gotta go back this way and see if there's any more. Nope, there's not. Okay. So, once we enter this area, I think we encounter new villains. Yep. And stay dead. So, the best thing to do is whenever you fight them, like, kick them whenever they're in the air. So then you can... Yeah, like that. Oops, I missed that light bulb completely. Anyways, I'm pretty sure what I was saying earlier is I have more games lined up that I would like to do. Most of them being... Actually, all of them being games that I own, but three of them being my favorite game series ever because I've also been working on a new intro and a new end card and a new profile pick. I'm definitely going to establish myself as a variety gaming channel as opposed to just The Sims because as much as I love building, I also love other games too, and I want to, like my channel says, I want to do whatever I want. Which sounds really bad, but it's what's going to make me happy. That girl was stupid, she just ran right into the light pole. I know that I'm trying to do that so then I can get Scooby Snacks. 
I'm pretty sure I've said on this channel that my dad does watch my videos, but I was talking to him about this game, and I was like, oh, so I was playing uh, Scooby-Doo for sprites, and I was talking about how he and I had used to um, make fun of the, I guess not make fun of, but mimic the girls going, ah, ah, which I can't do it when I'm sick, but... He was like, oh yeah, I watched that. And I was like, oh, awesome. So it made me really happy. And then I'm pretty sure my mom watches them on her own time just to like, I guess, give me watch time. I don't know. I know that some of my speed builds are too fast for her, but that's okay. I could move that. Oops, I did not mean to kick you. I'm sorry. I wanted to break this so I could get the Scooby Snacks. <laughs> Daphne, if you could get out of my way, that would be very appreciated. No! No! Are you kidding me? I don't... There we go. You're not leaving without me. Uh... This is the only part where two player would be perfect because the other character, whenever it's the computer generated character, they leave you and I don't like that. So because it makes the camera all wonky, that's my only complaint about this game is whenever it's two characters, it makes the cameras, because it's trying to split between the two characters, it makes it very difficult. Some of the camera angles like this is really hard because you have to really figure out your depth perception. And that's sometimes difficult. Also, I don't know how she does that. Like, it would freak me out. Don't leave without me, please. I don't know. I feel like crawling head first would be easier, like she did on the way back, than she did on the way there. I don't know why she did it like that, but it's no biggie, I guess. Oh, there's no Scooby Snacks. I'm going to do everything that I can to 100% this game. There is a... I can hear it. There's a medallion here, and I don't remember where it is. But I can hear it, and I don't know where it is. It's gonna drive me insane! <laughs> that was a one-shot kill. That was awesome. I can hear it. Where is it? I'm not gonna find a walkthrough just for this game. Where is it? I have to come find it again. Is it in here? Cool. 
Apparently not. Okay, right. it would be nice if you came and helped me. I say as I um, go get Scooby Snacks instead. So, I need to sometime play a video game and have commentary by like my boyfriend or something because I feel like it would be much more fun and have more comedy to play off of which would be more entertaining for everyone watching if I played with somebody. I know my mom wouldn't do it. I'm not sure if my dad would but I think having my boyfriend around it would be really funny. Okay, there's something here. Is this the, the one that I was hearing? Because that seems really weird if it's on a different level. Also, that's what I meant by depth perception. Because it's it's very difficult to, to know where you're going whenever... Whenever the camera angles look the way that they do. Which is why I prefer, like, it's technically not first person, and it's not third- It's not technically third person, it's like, third person that's right behind the character. I don't know, is that third person omniscient? I'm not really sure. But this- this level has one of my favorite cutscenes. It's hilarious. And I remember me and my stepsister used to replay this episode over and over and over again because we thought that the cutscene was just hilarious. So, I have very fond memories of this game. These are also hard because, again, with the depth perception, because you never know how far you're jumping. But I found it easier as I've gotten older because I- and this is what I meant by the camera angles, because like the- it's trying to keep both the characters in- in frame, and it's very difficult in some parts. And now I gotta wait for Fred. So. I'm pretty sure I died so many times trying to get that stupid medallion whenever I was younger. I know I already made this reference, but every time I see this character, I only think of the character in Spyro. Which I will be playing. I'm very excited to start playing Spyro because I have it on my PlayStation 4. I know technically we can like go past them, but I would rather not go past them because I want the Scooby Snacks. So I will collect the Scooby Snacks while Fred just does what he does best, which is fight the people. Or I'll just take care of it like a girl boss. Also, I was making a schedule for like what episodes I was posting when, and oh man, I didn't mean to do that. I was looking at episode 3, and I don't remember any of it. I don't remember any of episode 4 either. Oops. 
So it's it's basically just episode one and episode two that I remember. So episode three and four will be more of a almost a first impression type for me because I don't remember hardly anything. Check this out. Because most of the games that I play, I have played before. Actually, all of the games that I that I'm going to play on here, I've played before. Until I have money for new games, um, because that's just that's just what I do. Is I obviously most people play their own games, but I just I feel bad in a way that it's not going to be a first impression. But I also don't feel bad. It's, <laughs> it's a, I don't know what I'm saying, but that medallion sound is going to get on my nerves if I don't find it, and I'm not sure if there's like a scooby doo or something. Well, those like these are fun because you have to break everything, and it's very satisfying whenever you're playing as Daphne, just to see all of the scooby snacks just have a lot of it. Oh, yeah, it is a Scooby Door. I vaguely remember that now. Because it's up in the top right corner, and it's gonna drive me absolutely bonkers until I can do explore mode. I feel like there was a way that you could cheat it and get up there. But I don't remember how. I managed to do that. Yeah, because it's- I don't know if you saw that, but it was right up there. Um... I feel like there's somewhere else I'm missing. Maybe not. Okay, maybe it's just in here. All right, Fred, do your magic. Because there's one final clue, and I'm pretty sure... Yep, it's in here. Okay, toy catalog. Seems to be a toy catalog full of terrible toys. Scooby, Shaggy, come in. Fred, like, where are you guys? We're Toy Factory. That's where the toys are coming from. We found a catalog, and they're all in it. Christmas can't be too fun in this town. Yeah. Head to the toy factory. We'll all meet up there. See you soon. Shaggy astronaut. Okay. We will be using this in the next level. Also, duh, of course the toys come from a toy factory. Yeah, stay down. Well, not me. I meant you. I just want to get all the Scooby Snacks. Yeah. Maybe it was through here that you could reach it. No, it's not. I don't know how on earth I could get it without being Scooby. So I'll just have to be Scooby later. Did he just say smash? Like, Hulk smash, but press smash. Oh, this is the cutscene. It's so funny. Show yourself. Evening, children. To you, to you. Yeah, evening to you, to you too. <laughs> Tim Toiler, that's the name. Friendly town citizen. Completely sane. Glad you think so. <laughs> Toy maker, what a man! They say they might shut down the amusement. 
We won't let that happen. I haven't even been on a ride yet. So, the toy maker? Everyone here knows it. Loved by all. Pretty much the town hero. There was going to be a statue, but ah, they couldn't do him justice. Can you take us to the toy maker's factory? If you think I can, that's my plan. Follow my friendly followers. Follow! Psst, up here. What? Where'd he go? He was just here. I don't care. Let's get to this factory. The whole town's full of. <laughs> <laughs> the whole town is full of. Oh, I got a trophy. Are you there? Come here. What is it, Daphne? Over. We just met the strangest man, Tim Toiler, a real nut job. Uh, Tim Toiler. Oh, and Vigilante Boy is packing some serious firepower. You saw numbers again? Yeah, but he didn't stick around long enough to chat. Yep, that sounds like him. Well, we're all heading to the toy factory. You there? Okay. See you soon. Don't out. I want to know the range of these walkie-talkies because, like, they are probably miles away from each other, and yet they're just being able to talk to each other. I just, I'm confused. Do not leave without me. There we go. Thank you. There's another medallion. I can hear it. Yahoo! Will you get out of my way? Thank you. This is the one that I was thinking of, that I know that you can get up there. You can get up there, I know you can. I'll go get that first, and then we're gonna come over here. Got it. <laughs> okay, I knew I could get it. Okay, I don't know why they have to laugh the entire time. Like, it's not just creepy, it's annoying. See that? Lots of clues that shows you who it's supposed to be. Which the first one was easy, but it'll get harder the more that it goes on. Like this one, I think everyone is thinking it's... I don't know, I don't think anyone's thinking it's supposed to be numbers. I just, I, I don't want to spoil it, but whenever it's revealed, I'm going to say what my thoughts are about who it is. And like when you need them. Oh man, I thought I could get to Because I used to be able to do that all the time. It was so much fun to just get them to stand on the glass thing and then watch them fall. That sounds really evil. Where did he go? He went this way. But, okay. The only thing about playing this game is I will have this weird soundtrack stuck in my head for the rest of the week. Because I'm playing this on a Sunday and it will be posted on a- oh, oops. forgot there's a hole there. Posted on a Saturday. This one, will. the next one, we posted on the next Sunday. Because I'm planning on posting on Saturdays and Sundays from now on. Like time willing, time willing, I will. 
I will post on Saturdays and Sundays because my Wednesdays have opened up so I should be able to I should be able to film I should be able to get lots of filming done today in between doing my chores so because I'm filming this level working on my chores and then filming another level working on my chores so and I will hopefully continue to be able to do that yeah not to the face <laughs> that was funny. I love how dramatic she is. Oops. Didn't know you could fall down those. I mean, I guess it makes sense because they're pipes, but... Now it's time to... I think this is the end of the level. No, it's not. The end of the level should be soon now. I feel like this is a really long level. Oh yeah, because you have to make it all the way to the toy factory. I do remember the boss level being insanely difficult. It's not like the first one, where the first one was very easy and mild. This one was so hard. But I was also a little kid, so I wonder if it'll still be hard now that I'm older, or if it'll be easy. Yeah, I just can't find the lever because Fred is... Fred, come this way, please. Fred. Oh my gosh. Ah. Uh, it's literally just computer-generated game characters that are like that. Excuse me, what'd you do? I didn't tell you to do that. Now pull the lever, Daphne. No, thank you. Man, my game just glitched real bad. I wonder if it's because of the age. Like, because it is pretty, pretty old. I mean, Wii's came out in, what, 2009? And this game was, like, 2009? That's the end of the level. I'm gonna get these Scooby Snacks before I press the lever. Because this should be the end of the level. Yeah. Okay. 3,425 Scooby Snacks. That's quite a bit. I'm kind of impressed with myself. And then I got all but one medallion, and that's the one I could get. And then I don't even know what I got the trophy for, but I got the trophy, so I'm impressed with myself. And the next time we will do level four and the boss. Alright? Thank you. Bye.